The 2022 Basketball Africa League concluded its second season last weekend with Tunisian side Union Sportive Monastir beating Angola's Petra de Luanda to be crowned the new champions. CGTN's Mohamed Boubacar caught up with the vice president of the BAL at the BK Arena in Kigali on the final day of the competition to get his thoughts on the second season. Let's take a look. I'm happy to be joined by the Vice President of the Basketball Africa League, Mr. John Manuel Planche. Uh, thank you so much, uh, John, for your time. Let's begin with your assessment of the just concluded second season of the Basketball Africa League. I think it was fantastic. I mean, when you look at it, where we started from last year, launching in the middle of a pandemic, this year being able to have fans, being able to play in three different world-class African cities, ending up here in Kigali, you know, opening night sold out and now a huge finals and a new champion being crowned. What impact do you feel this competition has had so far, two seasons in now, uh, in improving uh, the game of basketball in the continent? So the whole purpose of the BAL isn't just for us to have a uh, you know, commercially viable basketball property, but really to uplift the entire ecosystem. And that means making sure that this becomes a shining beacon for club basketball on the African continent so that there's more investment from government and private sector going into improving and increasing infrastructure, basketball development, coaching, um, and, you know, improving the, 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 the quality of the African players. Because ultimately, what we want is world-class play that can be broadcast in 215 countries globally. Um, with your partners, such as, you know, NBF Africa, FIBA, do you have any plans now to continue making this sport popular in this continent? Definitely, the, the plans continue all the way from the grassroots level with our junior NBA programs, uh, Basketball Without Borders, junior NBA championships, NBA Academy, and now with the BAL sitting atop that ecosystem, the improvement you know, is, is, is complete. There's actually a pathway for a player to come all the way through and be successful here on the African continent. Uh, lastly, um, we've all been waiting for the envisioned original ball uh, uh, schedule where, you know, it's across six cities and all. Will we finally see that now that restrictions has eased up? I think we're, we're, we're going to continue to look at how we expand. It could be number of teams, it could be locations that we play in. You know, after every season, we really look hard at what has worked, what we think we need to tweak, and ultimately, you know, I think we're, we're going to get to that full-fledged schedule.